August Maurice Barres was a French novelist, journalist and politician. Spending some time in Italy, he became a figure in the French literature with the release of his work The Cult of the Self in 1888. In politics, he was first elected to the Chamber of Deputies in 1889 as a boulangist and would play a prominent political role for the rest of his life. Barres was associated in his literary works with symbolism, a movement which had equivalents with British aestheticism and Italian decadentism. Indeed he was a close associate of Gabriel D'Annunzio representing the latter. As the name of his trilogy suggests, his works glorified a humanistic love of the self and he also flirted with occult mysticisms in his youth. The Dreyfus affair saw an ideological shift and he was a leading anti-Dreyfusade, popularizing the term nationalism to describe his views. He stood on a platform of nationalism, protectionism and socialism. Politically, he became involved with various groups such as the Ligue des Patriots of Paul de Alder, which he became the leader of in 1914. Barres was close to Charles Maurice, founder of Action Française, a monarchist party. Despite the fact that he remained a Republican, Barres would have a strong influence on various following French monarchists, as well as various other figures. During the First World War, he was a strong supporter of the Union Sacre. In later life, Barres returned to the Catholic faith and was involved in a campaign to restore French church buildings and helped establish the 24th of June as a national day of remembrance for Saint Joan of Arc. Biography Early years born at Charmes, Vosges, he received his secondary education at the Lycée of Nancy, and in 1883 continued his legal studies in Paris. Establishing himself at first in the Cartier Latin, he became acquainted with Le Conte de Lille Senecal and with the Symbolists in the 1880s, even meeting Victor Hugo once. He had already started contributing to the monthly periodical Jeune France, and he now issued a periodical of his own, Les Taches d'Encre, which survived for only a few months. After four years of journalism, he settled in Italy, where he wrote Soule des Barbares, the first volume of a trilogy du mois, completed by Un homme libre and Le Jardin de Berenice. The Cult of the Self trilogy was influenced by Romanticism, and also made an apology of the pleasure of the senses. He supplemented these apologies for his narcissism with Le Renami des Lois, and with an admirable volume of Impressions of Travel, Du Sang, De la Volupche, De la Mort. Barres wrote his early books in an elaborate and often very obscure style. The Comédie Française produced his play Une Journée Parlementaire in 1894. A year after establishing himself in Newly, he began his trilogy in 1897, La Roman de l'Energie Nationale, with the publication of Les Derricines. In this second major trilogy, he superated his early individualism with a patriotic fidelity to the fatherland and an organicist conception of the nation. Affected by the Dreyfus affair, and finding himself on the side of the anti-Dreyfusids, Barres played a leading role alongside Charles Morris, which initiated his shift to the political right. Barres oriented himself towards a lyrical form of nationalism, founded on the cult of the earth and the dead. The Roman de l'Energie Nationale trilogy makes a plea for local patriotism, militarism, the faith to one's roots and to one's family, and for the preservation of the distinctive qualities of the old French provinces. Les Derricines narrates the adventures of seven young Lorrainers who set out to conquer fortune in Paris. Six of them survive in the second novel of the trilogy, La Pello Soldit, which gives the history of Boulangism. The sequel, Lurs Figures, deals with the Panama scandals. Later works include, Scenes et Doctrines du Nationalisme, Les Amitiés Françaises, in which he urges the inculcation of patriotism by the early study of national history. C.E.K.J. Ive O Service de l'Allemagne, The Experiences of an Alsatian Conscript in a German Regiment, Le Voyage de Sparta. He presented himself in 1905 to the Académie Française but was supplanted by Etienne Lamy. 
He then tried again, but inclined himself before the candidacy of the former minister Alexandra Rybot. But he was finally elected the next year, gaining 25 voices against 8 to Edmund Howrockort and 1 to John I. Cart on 25 January 1906. Barres was also a friend since his youth of the occultist Stanislas de Guaitard and was attracted by Asia, Sufism and Shiism, but he returned in his later years to the Catholic faith, engaging in La Rocho de Paris a campaign in favour of the restoration of the churches of France. His son Philippe Barres followed him in a journalism career, political activism as a young man. Barres carried his romantic and individualist theory of the ego into politics as an ardent partisan of General Boulanger, locating himself in the more populist side of the heterogeneous Boulanger's coalition. He directed a Boulanger's paper at Nancy, and was elected deputy in 1889, at the age of 27, under a platform of nationalism, protectionism, and socialism, retaining his seat in the legislature until 1893, when he was defeated under the etiquette of national republican and socialist. From 1889, Barra's activism overshadowed his literary activities, although he tried to maintain both. He shifted however to the right wing during the Dreyfus Affair, becoming a leading mouthpiece, alongside Charles Morris, of the anti-Dreyfusard side. The socialist leader L. E. Acuto N. Blum tried to convince him to join the Dreyfusids, but Barres refused and wrote several anti-Semitic pamphlets. He wrote, That Dreyfus is guilty, I deduce not from the facts themselves but from his race, Barra's anti-Jewishness found its roots both in the scientific racial contemporary theories and on biblical exegesis. He founded the short-lived review La Cocada in 1894 to defend his ideas, attempting to bridge the gap between the far left and the far right. The Cocada, nationalist, anti-parliamentarist and anti-foreign, included a diverse collection of contributors from a wide variety of backgrounds including Frederic Amoretti, Charles Morris, Irene Boylesver and Fernand Pelloutier. He was again beaten during the 1896 elections in Newley, as a candidate of the socialist leader Jean Giles, and then again in 1897 as a nationalist anti-Semitic candidate, having broken with the left wing during the Dreyfus Affair. Barres then assumed the leadership of the Ligue de la Patrie Française, before taking membership in the Ligue des Patriots of Paul de Alder. In 1914, he became the leader of the Patriot League, close to the nationalist writer Charles Morris, founder of the monarchist Action Française movement. Barres refused however to endorse monarchist ideas, although he demonstrated sympathy throughout his life for the Action Française. Most of the later monarchist theorists have recognized their debt toward Barres, who also inspired several generations of writers. Barres was elected deputy of the Seine in 1906 and retained his seat until his death. He sieged at that time among the Entente Républicaine Démocratique et Conservative Party. In 1908, he opposed in Parliament his friend and political opponent Jean Giles refusing the socialist leader's will to pantheonize the writer Emile Zola. Despite his political views, he was one of the first to show his respect to Julia's remains after his assassination on the eve of World War I. During World War I, Barres was one of the proponents of the Union Sacre, which earned him the nickname Nightingale of Bloodshed. The Canard and Cheney acute satirical newspaper called him the chief of the brainwashes tribe. His personal notes showed however that he himself did not always believe in his purport war optimism, being at times close to defeatism. During the war Barres also partly came back on the mistakes of his youth, by paying tribute to French Jews in Les Familles Spirituals de la France, where he placed him as one of the four elements of the national genius alongside traditionalists, Protestants and socialists, thus opposing himself to Morris who saw in them the four Confederate states of anti-France.
After World War I, Barres was involved with irredentist forces in Luxembourg, and sought to increase French influence in the Rhineland. On 24 June 1920, the National Assembly adopted his draft aiming to establish a national day in remembrance of Joan of Arc. Nationalism Barres is considered, alongside Charles Morris, as one of the main thinkers of ethnic nationalism at the turn of the century in France. Associated with revanchism, the desire to reconquer the Alsace-Lorraine, annexed by the newly created German Empire at the end of the 1871 Franco-Prussian War. In fact, he himself popularized the word nationalism in French. This has been noted by Zeev Sternhell, Michel Winock, followed by Les Anne Acutis André Gaudi and Les Anne Acutis Jean-Paul Sartre, Pierre-André Taguieff, etc. He shared as common points with Paul Bourdieu his disdain for utilitarianism and liberalism. Opposed to Jean-Jacques Rousseau's theory of social contract, Barres considered that nation as already historically founded. It did not need a general will to establish itself, thus also contrasting with Ernest Renan's definition of the nation. Much closer to Herder and Victor than to Renan in his definition of the nation, Barres opposed French centralism, as he considered the nation to be a multiplicity of local allegiances, first to the family, the village, the region, and ultimately to the nation-state. Influenced by Edmund Burke, Frederick Play, and Hippolyte Hein, he developed an organicist conception of the nation which contrasted with the universalism of the 1789 Declaration of the Rights of Man of the Citizen. According to Barres, the people is not founded by an act of autonomy, but find its origins in the earth, history and traditions and inheritance. His early individualism was quickly superated by an organicist theory of the social link, in which the individual is nothing, society is everything. Barres feared miscegenation of modern times, represented by Paris, claiming against Michelet that it jeopardized the unity of the nation. The nation was to be balanced between various local nationalities through decentralization and the call for a leader, giving a Bonapartist aspect to his thought which explained his attraction for the general boulanger and his opposition to liberal democracy. He pleaded for a direct democracy and personalization of power, as well as for the implementation of popular referendums as done in Switzerland. In this nationalist frame, anti-Semitism was to be the cohesive factor for a right-wing mass movement. Dada and Barres The Dadaists organized in spring 1921 the trial of Barres charged of attempt against the security of the spirit, and sentenced him to 20 years of forced labor. This fictitious trial also marked the dissolution of Dada, its founders, among whom was Tristan Dara, refusing any form of justice even if organized by Dada. Death Barres died in New Lisieux on 4 December 1923. Works in English Translation the Undying Spirit of France, Yale University Press, 1917. Young Soldiers of France, In the War and the Spirit of Youth, Atlantic Monthly Company, 1917. Colette Bordeaux, The Story of a Young Girl of Metz, George H. Doran Company, 1918. Offices and Gentlemen, The Atlantic Monthly, Volume, CXXI, 1918. The Faith of France, Houghton Mifflin and Company, 1918. The Sacred Hill, The Macaulay Company, 1929. Uprooted, in the world's greatest books. H. Wise and Co., 1941. Other Masia Bibikoff, Our Indians at Marseille, with an introduction by Maurice Barres, Smith, Elder and Company, 1915. Georges Lafond, Covered with Mud and Glory, with a preface by Maurice Barres, Small, Maynard and Company, 1918. Quotes. The reader collaborates with the author in every book, or, the reader is co-author in every book. The individual is nothing, society is everything. Reality, it cannot be repeated too often, varies with every one of us.
There is no reality for me but pure thought. Minds alone interesting. A strange rage this modern mania to give a common manner to all minds and to destroy individuality. Young men in meetings put in common nothing but their mediocrity. What distinguishes an argument from a play upon words is that the latter cannot be translated. Other quotes. In foreign languages. René Jarquet. Notre Maître Maurice Barres, Library Nielsen, J. Ernest Charles, La Carrière de Maurice Barres, Académicien, Sansot and C.I.E., René Guillouin, Maurice Barres, Sansot and C.I.E., Henry Massis, La Pensée de Maurice Barres, Mercury de France, Nicolas Baudouin, El Evolution de Maurice Barres, Quelks Uens, No. 1. Jean Herluison, Maurice Barres et le problème de l'ordre, Nouvelle Library Nationale, Jacques Jarry, Essay sur la et la psychologie de Maurice Barres, Emile Paul, Paul Bourget, La Lecon de Barres, à la Cité des Livres, François Mariac, La Rencontre avec Barres, La Table Ronde, Albert Garrow, Barres, Défense de la Civilisation, Editions des Loisirs, Sarah Vajda, Maurice Barres, Flammarion.